If you adopt these five habits into your normal play sessions of Hell Let Loose, you will not only be a more effective player, but a more effective team player. So first off, keep checking your map. This is something I do all the time. And when I used to stream here on YouTube, you would constantly see me open the map. And that's just purely for information gathering purposes. Not only will it give you a quick snapshot of all the squad leader markers that your squad, or if you're a squad leader or commander, every squad has put down so you can see enemy movements, enemy tanks, but also it's gonna show you if any OPs or garrisons are hot, which is just telling you there are enemy close by. If you're defending, and to be honest, most of the time when I defend, it's just a single squad defending, you could have some backup garrisons that all just suddenly go hot, and that could just be a recon team that's going around trying to destroy your garrisons, or it could be a sneaky squad that's got round and they're in the middle of trying to build a sneaky garrison to get more squads in to take you out. Keep checking your map, relay any information that your squad or squad leader don't know about so they can think about what to do next. It's also going to give you that information based on the hot OPs and markers of simply just where you need to look because that's where enemy have been spotted and that's just going to help you out. Secondly, just slow down. This isn't Call of Duty, it's not Battlefield, it's not some Twitch arena shooter, it's a large scale 100 player hardcore shooter and just charging around, sprinting around all the time, it's not going to work out for you. Just slow down a bit, maybe crouch sprint instead of sprinting and take some time between moving just to actually have a good look around because while slowing down, it is easier to spot people than just constantly sprinting. Not only will you make less noise while you're crouch sprinting or just crouch running around, but it will make it just a little bit easier to hear enemy footsteps and that is gonna save you. And that is gonna lead to you taking out enemy squads, getting the jump on them, and it's gonna be just a lot more fun. Don't just keep sprinting around all the corners. Go up to the corner and have a lean out and scan around. Just make sure it's a little bit clear first. You run up to that bush and have a look forward. Don't just run straight through it. You don't just need to rush from objective to objective once you've captured one. Maybe take that little bit of time to build up some defensive garrisons. Maybe get some fortifications up. Maybe try sneaking around the flanks or behind the next objective to get some other sneaky garrisons down. You don't just need to charge right in. Along with slowing down your gameplay a little bit, you need to adopt what I call T-Rex mode. Keep absolutely still. This vision is based on movement. And what T-Rex mode is, is pretty much staying still in cover or in a bush, not maybe even looking around with your mouse, just look at what's in front of you and you will spot the slightest bit of movement. And you'll start to notice when bushes in the distance don't look quite right. Maybe there's a few pixels that are discolored and it's probably an enemy hiding in that bush. Just get into some good cover or concealment and just watch just for a moment. It will improve your game and you'll get a bunch more kills. But also when you are moving up from position to position, you do need to be constantly scanning around you. And I've made a whole video just about spotting enemies and I talk about how I scan for enemies as I'm moving around. And really you need to sort of prioritize where you think the enemy is most likely gonna be, which is really the edges of cover, like the edges of a building or a wall or the edge of that hedge, the windows. You don't need to be looking absolutely everywhere, just at those high priority areas, if that makes sense. I wish I had one of those eye tracking webcam things so I could quite easily show you what I mean. But I'll throw up some screenshots here with some highlighted areas of really where my eyes are mainly looking as I'm moving through whatever section the screenshots are. And you should also change the angle you're shooting at enemies from. So the situation this is, is if you pop out from cover, take a guy out, then pop back into cover to reload or whatever. Don't peek out the same place you just did because odds are other enemies are already aiming at that exact point where you just peeked out from and they're waiting for you to do the same so they can get an easy kill on you. Change where you're gonna peek from. If you're behind a box, for example, and you just peeked out the left, 
peek out from the right or maybe stand up in the middle. Just do something a little bit different to throw the enemy off. If you peeked out from one side of the building, maybe peek out from the other side of the building or go into the building and peek out from a window. Just do something to change it up. Doing that will save you and it will lead to more kills, which will lead to objectives being captured or being able to defend points just that little bit easier. So let me know what habits you have down in the comments below. Let's get some of these shared out to improve everyone's game. Give this video a like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.